Hello, continuing our series about Renkaku method. Let's see now some particular things, some very particular things about Renkaku. For example, we do know by now that it is a method for uh, closed quarter situations, and uh, we have seen the um, some of the basics of um, of this method. We have seen how we can move. We ha we have seen the major and uh, and first weapons one could use. Now we'll see some. Uh, some techniques in which the timing is a bit different and the, the physiology of what we are applying is also a bit different. It's short, it's very uh, objective and uh, straightforward. First thing you'll we'll, we'll notice is that one thing is this and then starting a technique. Now there are many situations in which we do know we are getting to a close quarter situation uh, before. So what we are uh, attempting to do what we're going to be aware is that this is always something which can be done. What is that? I am uh, obligating him to come forward at the very first moment and also to protect to lift his elbow because if he leaves this elbow unprotected, what happens is that I can just keep on. So by doing this, what we are doing is we are causing him to shift his balance and to shift his support lines. So from here, once we have opened, once he has opened this arm, this, le uh, this forward leg is already entering. In, in the, it could be groin here, or we could uh, find the end, the tip of the ribs, the folding ribs in this case. Mm. Now, there's one very particular and interesting point, which is we should always be very careful when we are in this Renkaku position. Because the correct position, the method, states that we have to protect our head. So the kind of vision we have is very, very uh, different from this Sega situation. You know? So, um, we have always heard and studied that this kind of method came from the Mo Mongolian warriors. And, uh, well, the point here, the key point, is a safety point for our practice and for the, the wellness of our um, friend, is that bladder is a lethal um, target for us. It is an organ in which, when it is fulfilled with liquid, a, a small impact here could be lethal. So we will always avoid it, you know. It doesn't matter how strong his abdomen, his belly is, this should be always avoided, you know, for safety reasons. So, and from this kind of thing, you can see the maliciousness and the danger which is present in Renkaku. So, one more time. I have entered here, and now, uh, once I got him here, he stretches his arm. His arm is powerless. And what I'm going to do is, I'll keep his arm here with my arms and I'll get close to him like this, you know. I have this small deviation, this angle of deviation from him, from his center line, and now I will have this. Although, um, in a first impression, it may look like this is just a, a pushing situation, it is not. It is a powerful lock and it could be very harmful to his wrist. Let's see, this, what happens when we do this? It is just the same thing as one can try it, you know, you can try it uh, at, at home. If you just put your hand over a flat surface like this, and uh, well, if you, keep, if you keep your whole palm on a table or over the ground, over the floor, and if you do this and you point your elbow outward and keep going, 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 very soon you, you will feel the kind of pain in this region. You know? um, if, it, if we had just this, it would be an inner deviation. Now, what we are doing is, besides that, a, comp a full compression here. So, a vector would go out from his wrist like this. So, what we have is this. So, once we are here, this is yet just a passage. Once we got him here, we will, for safety reasons, of course, release his wrist. It wouldn't, if it was a real situation, we would keep it from here, but we will release his wrist already here. One more time, we're back here, service. It has the purpose of 
supporting him so he can perform emukemi. It could be done with our legs fully downward and, I mean, and uh, throwing his head and neck and shoulder on the floor directly. Now, once you're here, there are many um, um, uh, ending, endings of the technique we could perform. Now, what we are going to do is, first of all, as soon as he fell, we are gaining his uh, we're gaining position over his right arm and shoulder and neck, but of course, this is a very simple and basic position. Uh, anyone who would have a, a simple basics study on, on ground techniques would protect his neck by you know, uh, taking his, his chin to his, to his chest. So he is trying to protect himself. What we are going to do is we'll protect our head and get his shoulder. This is a very interesting position. I will ask and say from here Kaidi to take his arm out as strong as he can and uh, is the classical and uh, very characteristic jujutsu way of thinking, you know, using leverage and uh, they use the usage of the contraction of your muscles in a very particular way to have great advantage over your enemy. So, once I got his arm here, what I'm going to do is I am going to pass my, my leg over him like this. Now, we cannot forget that, as a matter of fact, uh, since we are in the final step of our technique, this would be done, first of all, striking leg violently in this area. We will just go back to this point very soon to understand what happens when we do this beyond the, the obvious. So, once we are here, once I have passed, I am stable here. I have to find, I have to have this angle of the arm and I will spin, rotate and spin from here to here. Now, for this lock to enter correctly, one important thing is the thigh and the cough, it should, you know, they should press his elbow and his arm downward with all my weight, like this. It is even more important than having his arm already here. You know? So this is the first point, so he cannot continue rolling off our technique. But then our weight to this position. Now let's understand our last movement here. There are some people which are so uh, skilled on the ground techniques and they can control the on their uh, contraction of their muscles so well and uh, it can be quite difficult sometimes to to uh, to fit this lock from here in just one time like this if you are in a free practice so once I'm here what this pressure does in jutsu very often is this very slowly I will show with my uh, with my partner Sensei Luis it's this. So he has to take the, the air. We take the air out of his lungs. Like this. When this happens, he's powerless. You know, we, the ancient people, the ancient masters would say he is out of keep during this uh, during the interval of his breath of his breath. So what we would do here, once we are here, is we would enter first here and then fulfill our technique. These are some of the, of the details of the Renkaku method we have just seen and, uh, and well, what we have been studied for these last days. So we are keeping you all updated. Thank you very much. Good morning.